jump right on into this one without any delay. So for those of you who are joining us, it is game number two here of Nine Pandas versus Team Liquid. And a very impressive comeback in game one gives Nine Pandas the lead here in this series. So uh, I want to come back to this, Medusa. And the reason I think it's so good this game is you're running a double defensive support here on the side of Liquid, right? You're running yeah. Pugna and Oracle. You're going to be lacking a lot of damage to actually uh, like find kills on this Medusa. Like, yes, you can doom her as long as she has split shot on. I don't think she really cares all that much. Like, you can go in from Storm, but Storm doesn't really have the burst damage. It's going to come down to Sven, but then, like, I don't know if he has the damage if he just can get kited out or not. Like, it's going to be interesting. So if Ramses can get like his farm and he can find his item timings, I feel like this Medusa is going to be absolutely nuts. To die. Yeah, like it it can go pretty insane in the right game. I think the the key for Liquid in this game is they've got to play aggressive. They've got to shut down Ramses, which is also something we didn't see fully in the last game where they were bullying him in lane, but. Ramsey's just got a lot of room to farm back up. To be fair, the map, again, is bigger. It's hard to control the entirety of the map. It's hard to fully shut down these cores that can catch up by farming the jungle. Medusa is one of those cores. So we'll see if they'll be able to suppress, but it does feel like for Liquid, you want to play a lot more tempo here and definitely just shut down Ramsey's as much as you can. Yeah, absolutely. Nice Mystic Snake here, but a lot of damage on over to Kiyotaka. They're trying to finish him off and get that first blood. It is going to go the way of Boxy. You lose Zai in the process, but a massive brawl here in the river as Roger taking a beating as well. Boxy falling low. They trade two for two, and Taurus falls to Nisha. Three kills at the buzzer for uh, Liquid. Two for nine pandas. Dude, this is the aggression I'm looking for. Let's go, man. That's that's what they need, you know, just try to bully out. I think the big thing is you can't really touch Ramses. Spams out the snake. He doesn't really melt in mana. You know, that is going to be a consistent issue. Can you burn through that mana shield? The laning phase for the Dusa feels like its biggest weakness, so you need to find those openings there for the side of Liquid, but you establish yourself a pretty strong start. Seeing those lanes break out, taking a look up top on Mike and Insania, on the Sven and Oracle. This can get aggressive quite early on. You've got chain stunts, you've got good ways of saving from magical damage now as well. With the Oracle and from the Axe spam. And there is a timing here for the side of Nine Pandas though. Like, say level two, level three, with level two Axes, you can start to really apply the hurt onto Mike. And Insania has to balance his mana usage really well to ensure the sustain is still there for the Sven if things get dicey. All right, I got a question for you, John. Yeah. Are, are, are you are you a grubster? Are you are you a grubster? A grubster? No, not not too often. Okay, I, I think okay. I'm mainly asleep in these dreams. All right, all right, all right. The reason I ask is because uh, Mr. Grubby yesterday was on the Medusa spam train, and it looked very good. He made it look very good. So. I'm obviously, you know, different MMR bracket, but, uh, you know, getting, like, watching someone actually just play the hero on the repeat and, and you know, have seemingly have some pretty easy games, I feel like this hero might be pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I think, again, when we saw TSM play it yesterday, it actually had more impact than I was expecting. You don't have those usual Medusa counters nowadays that just makes this hero feel unplayable. Nyx, not here. You don't have Diffusal Carrier, so this is... Probably the best circumstance to pick up that Dusa. And so far, Ramses is not being bullied out in lane at all. Still allowed to farm up. He's kind of keeping that Doom in check. Just not not really moving, which is a good sign for the Dusa. You're not bullied out. You're still able to play. You can hit your level 4 for more durability on the man shield. And you're kind of secure from there. It's still a little bit awkward in lane. The fact that you can't go for a second point in the shield by level 2. But I guess it's for balance purposes. Does yeah, that does sound kind it's of a little bit weird. I mean, I, I have been seeing people just ignore the split shot and getting the second point in Snake, but... I don't know. Yeah. You just don't use that spell. You don't use that split shot all too often. In the laning phase, at least. So, it's kind of a dead skill point at two, but... It is what it is for the Dusa so far. A little bit quieter in lanes, trading back and forth a little bit. Yeah, everyone kind of running out of mana, and you are out of mana now on Ramsey's, which could leave him susceptible. Oh. They don't really have a good way of running up, though. 
Yep, very nice find here in the top lane, though, as Insania and Mikke get a little bit aggressive there to chase down Miro. And you talked about this, the the lane and just the game matchup in general for the Beastmaster is really difficult into a Sven. And bottom lane, a lot of aggression as they manage to find the kill there onto Ramses and Roger. One more auto attack, it's not going to be enough, Foxy. Won't be able to chase him into the tower here either, so they'll survive on the Disruptor for now, but... Yeah, the Medusa just playing super low on resources in this lane. Yeah, just uh, sticking its head out a little bit too long. No relief from the supports, no mana to spam out the uh, Mystic Snake. Did you get punished quite a fair bit? And again, this is what we needed to see come out from Liquid. Just bully the Medusa in its weaker phase of the game. When the mana shield's still low, you can kind of make that painful. Zydo. Yeah, do they have Glimpse? They've already spent it, so... Zai should be able to just run into the trees Ramses was thinking about just diving under the tower to go for the wraparound. He's like, never mind. Um, nice little uh, movement there from Zai's and Doom. He does have the Ring of Health early on and finishes up that Vanguard now, so he should be pretty okay to kind of chill in this lane. And that being said, Boxy just getting really aggressive here as he forces a salve out from Roger. Again, you just kind of want to waste the resources here up top. They've been going a little bit topsy-turvy in lane, cutting in a really good way, forcing Mika to walk all the way back to base and trying to TP back in. So you're getting some good room out from Miera. Still trying to get aggressive bot here onto Boxy. But he is a speedy little Pugna. He's got the brown boots up. He is a very fast little green guy. So I, I took my eyes off of mid lane for a couple minutes here, and Nisha is just crushing this lane now. Zai, excuse me, takes a Mystic Snake right to the dome, and a glimpse from Roger as he pulls him right back into the danger zone, and he will be able to find that kill. That being said, Ramses is completely out of mana. He's got 100 HP, dude. Watching someone lose 50% of their health on, an, on a single <laughs> auto is very funny. Yeah. From oh auto from my a god, as well. dude, it's so nuts. Mid lane, Kiyotaka goes down. Nisha hits the level 6. Puts him in the grave. I mean, that's what he was waiting for. Like, the, the Ember Spirit, he couldn't lane for the last, like, level and a half here against Nisha. He was jungling, trying to find what he could. And now for the power rune timing, where is it going to be? It's top. It's, it's a shield rune for Insania. Not the worst rune for the Storm to miss out on actually. And Zai will just dive Ramsey's bottom. He had no mana to play with. Yeah, you just... You still have those issues for the Dusa. You're out of mana, you melt. You can't sustain through your Mystic Snake, you will just melt. Yeah, and Liquid finding these openings really well. The mid lane is probably the most surprising for me. Then again, this is Nisha. You can't doubt Nisha, even in matchups which feel a little bit easier for the other side. He will find a way to just bully out. He's managed to do a great job of just suppressing Kiyotaka. And that is a standing issue now for Nine Pandas. Like, you've got the Beastmaster, who hasn't had the strongest of starts, still decent, but, you know, what the aura buildup does take a little bit of time to get some impact, and Ramsey's off to a mixed start in his lane. Uh, I mean, Ramsey's You're relying on your Ember here. Might be in some trouble here. They did a nice wrap around Ooh. on the Oracle, but a huge amount of damage dropped into this Medusa as Kiyotaka is going to be wrapping around here, and with Scorch Earth expiring, they need to leave. Never mind, Insania's back. He glimpsed him, but he just twin gated down again. It's oh my Insania god! Gets him. Oh no. Two fights happening on the other sides of the map here as Antara is getting pressured out bottom here. Dude, the Medusa Kiyotaka? is getting absolutely no handled, and Nisha finds Kiyotaka. He's still not level 6, man. He didn't have the remnants to play with. Now that he's forced to show up and try to provide some relief. I, I was having a little bit of a giggle because Zai, the seed shot and an empty man of Medusa. <laughs> Is that what that was? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's just the seed shot and then the follow up from Insane. It's like, yeah, you know what? There's a reason why this here is kind of funny. Like, in the lane with no stats on strength, you, you feel I'm awful. looking for Ember. He just TP'd back to the mid lane. He still doesn't have the level 6. They just fell off that flame guard. And Nisha is trying to finish him off in time. Insania's got him. They trade one for one as they get the Pugna. But a massive win for Liquid again. Is he's going to have to walk of shame back to the lane. He has three levels behind Nisha. This is... It's just deja vu, man. Last game, we saw an almost identical start to the game. The question is... Are they going to be able to come back this time? 
I mean, if they somehow stall for, you know, like 20 minutes for Ramses to get more stats up, that's where you might find us a little bit more playable. Although well, Ramses puts himself in uh, line of fire. Ramses doesn't seem to really care all that much, it seems. Oh, <laughs> he only gets some good heals there off the snake, but Glimpse will be enough to save him. Down to 30 HP, Ramses has to leave. <laughs> It's so deceptive. You look at the HP bar, it's like, alright, 10, 20% of his HP. And you're like, alright, that's 40 HP. That's not that good. Uh, not very good. Uh, Boxy here, got a little bit too lost in the sauce trying to chase down. And uh, Kiyotaka will find the kill, gets his level 6, of course. So, a little bit more survivable now on this Ember Spirit. Insanual. <laughs> I thought Insanio was going to try to snipe Ramses there. <laughs> Literally one spell cast, and that hero is dead. My god. Dude, he's, he's going to see no him stats, on a ward. Man. He, you do not cop these creeps, Ramses. 20 <laughs> HP. You just can't without the shield. Good God. My goodness. Um, well, we haven't really talked too much about the state of this game. Like, Zai rushing the Crimson Guard this game. So, uh, same thing to what we saw last game. Offlaners, or each team rather, just really prioritizing grabbing an early Crimson Guard here. Smoke. Gonna get popped here by Kiyotaka, and Insania will find him the remnant away instantly. He does not want to risk this, it seems. That being said, he will jump in here on Nisha as they dispel the Flame Guard into the Vortex. Mikke gets the God Strength and the stun here onto Antares. He's trying to chase down the Enchantress, but a roar out from Nero. Nisha gonna try and chase after him. The bonus move speed had helped out a little bit, but Nisha's out of mana now. They don't manage to find an opening. Boxy nearly dying to the Seder. He's got a Hadouken. Does he connect? Now oh, throws it back the other way. Kiyotaka, however, will be able to grab him as he dodges out the Storm Hammer. Beautifully done, but the root is there. Nikke with the damage will be enough to find the kill. And now Nisha stuck inside this kinetic field. Ooh. Barely has the mana to get out for the moment, but Nikke is still crushing it on this Sven. He's got a Storm Hammer in three seconds. Can he find his opening? Trying to decide what to do. Instead, we'll just back away. Liquid, they've done the damage. Meanwhile, at the base, Ramses is getting just oh ran down God. by Zai here. He manages to live, though. He doomed them and doesn't get the kill. Yeah, he's surprisingly just durable enough to survive through. I'm a little bit surprised. He leaves Mana Shield at one point, so going all in on this just farm and just looking to clear out the stacks, although it is going Niara's way right now as there was some pressure there. You will have this good timing coming out on your Beastmaster. I believe he does have the mech coming through. Movement out, though. Just trying to pressure in a little bit. It does become a little bit tougher now for Liquid to try to get that lockdown onto someone like Kiyotaka with a Remnant Sup. So you have that play for the Ember coming through. Still ways behind bottom network core. But he's got some dancing around he can try to do for his team at the least. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, the fact that Face Edict doesn't disarm allies anymore is ridiculous it's huge <laughs> like that wasn't that like an agonim scepter or or like uh like back in the day i feel like it was yeah i think it was at one point mm, there were a couple of changes to the oracle of course Ooh, but yeah okay oh, yeah no that's Mickey. that's that's yeah yeah nah i mean sven up against the dusa he just burst you your mana yep. just melts so fast although he walks right into a Static Storm and the Roar. They're going to have plenty of lockdown to hold him here. He's going to try and turn around with the God Strength still Jesus. active. He might have the damage. The Glimpse, however, pulls him back in the nice mech there as well. Mikke unable to escape his Boxy now on the run. Antares does dispel that Decrep for the moment. And Boxy, without being level 6, does not have a life drain to play around. And instead, Nisha is going to settle for maybe for Miro on the backside as he finds him. He's got this Arcane Rune running. The... Crimson Guard's actually going to keep Boxy alive this whole time. Is he still going to be able to chase down this Enchantress? The burn is there. They've got the kill. The Seed Shot will be able to do it, but Zai won't bother chasing down the Enchantress. She's got those Nature's Attendants running. Okay. And Nisha, I mean, did he find two on the backside? I think he did. Yeah, they, they did. Oh, really well done. Clean up. And that was some really good stall coming out from Boxy. Forces a lot of heroes to just try and chase him down. Stays close to the edge to prevent the impetus from feeling too good. And they get some room to just defend their mid here as well. A little bit rough for Mika dropping, but you, you, you're perfectly fine as so they're trying to get aggressive top again. Yeah, they saw this with the Hawk. No mana. Nisha's actually completely out of mana. 
There needs to be a little bit carefully. Your Crimson Guard will come out. Nice glimpse. Puts him back right into the fight, though, as they try to just collapse on top of Roger. Instead, he's three seconds away from the Static Storm, and the last auto attack will be enough to finish him as Kiyotaka starts to make his present known, and there it is. Dude, the life drain! He actually... Okay, we're going to come back to that. <laughs> that is really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is really stupid. That there's, is so tough. There's no way. Mike finds a solo kill mid onto the Medusa, but uh, the fight, the action still happening top here. His eyes looking for a doom target potentially. Nisha got a lot of mana back to play with. Damn, is starting to tick off away here onto Insane as they go in. They manage to grab Ember Spirit into the doom. Oh, the doom? Beautifully done. They've got it. Is now Antara's on the run here. Burned down. The War Stomp is there. And one more auto attack from Nisha will be enough. Beautifully done. Oh, look at that. Wisdom Rune spawns. And Nisha's got the bottle. Never mind. Insania just yoinks it. Mine, he says. Okay. Here's the okay, interaction. Why, why does this work? This should why not work. This, <laughs> this should not I work. I swear to goodness, I thought Life Drain was HP removal on the Pugna when he's healing. I thought it was. Uh, I played a lot of Pugna. Healing uh, for allies is no longer based on the damage dealt by Life Drain. That was the change yeah, in 7.33. But, 7 but I, th I always thought it was HP removal on the Pugna while he was channeling to a friendly. I mean, I not guess magic not. magic damage to himself. Yeah, it's, it's very funny. I don't know. Very funny indeed. So apparently, oh the fact that Fate Edict completely blocks the self damage from Life Drain means Boxy could just sit here and keep he healing him <laughs> for eternity. This is very funny. I, I I cannot believe that this works, but I am all about it. Good find here, Liquid. Good find. Insania into oh trouble here God. potentially. Does manage to just pop the False Promise on himself as Boxy's going to start dumping the heal. So Insania definitely going to be able to come out of this with quite a bit of health. Eh, just full health indeed. So they're trying to just top off Nisha, trying to find these heroes in the trees here. He's running a little bit low on resources as Boxy. Let's take a chunk of damage onto the backside here as Antares will finally pick him up. And inside this static storm, he's taking a lot of damage on Nisha, but the Crimson Guard comes out from Zion. Now, the question is, can you find the kill here onto Antares? There's going to be the Hoof Stomp. And with Insania's level 4 Purifying Flames, absolutely enough to take down that Enchantress. Dude, the sustain out of this Oracle Pugna is nuts. It is insane. It is insanity. Just the battery, it's paying off. The investment on Tanisha is working really damn well. Like, they're able to just keep running and gunning. And one thing for Nine Pandas is you've got some room coming out for Ramses down bot. He's, he has been ignored. He does have Dragonland, so he has some HP to play with at the least, although. Insania trying to keep himself alive. Doesn't look like it's gonna work though. Does manage to find the kill. A nice glimpse save there as well. So, okay, we've been having so much fighting and brawling happening around the map. We haven't really talked about Ramses in a little while. And uh, I think Liquid <laughs> realized that too, is they're like, guys, we, we have to just go kill the Dusa real quick. And uh, quick indeed, as Mickey finds himself another kill. Three and one now on this Sven as he's just getting super strong. I mean, he's neck and neck with the Doom, who maxed out the Devour, so not a good sign. Not a good sign at all for the side of Nine Pandas. They need so much more time to get this Deusa to the point where it can be a threat. And again, the side of Nine Pandas, they they had to deal with the Deusa in their game yesterday up against DSM. They saw what the Deusa can do if the game drags on late. There is a recovery process for this hero, but it doesn't feel like they've got room to grow. I mean, Liquid are just non-stop. They're going again. They just smoke up in the mid lane, and you drop a good ward. The question is, do they see Ramses? They do, man. It is just so much pain for this Medusa. The roar does catch the Oracle. He's plenty tanky, though. Thanks to that Crimson Guard is Ramses. He's trying to make it away underneath the Tier 2 tower, and he will be able to, but Boxy just healing up Nisha this whole time does not seem to matter. They, do will, they will save Ramses, which is the big thing. The question is... Can they get anything here on the side of Nine Pandas? It just seems like the sustain out from this Oracle is just way too much. Yeah. They, they're just topped up fully. They could re-engage if they wanted to. Nishius, full man as well, finds the DD ready to go. They'll this just is take it, run and gun elsewhere. It's like you have a fountain just following you around the map. Pretty much. Like, you're like, oh, Pretty hold much. on, I need some mana. Let me activate my fountain really quick. 
The dumber thing is that before you just have tranquils to try to regen back, but you don't even need that now. That's some uh, that's some hate coming out from Zai Bottom. He just drops the Doom onto the Disruptor, but the rest of the team rotating in, and they're you know they're not gonna let Doom get away with this. Oh, so the top of the box comes in with a nice deep grab save. The hex onto the Pugna. It's not gonna be enough to get him out, and there's the false promise from Insania. So Zai is still alive for now. The question is. Do they have the damage to actually kill the Doom? He's healing up quite a bit, but they managed to find the kill onto Oracle. Zai oh, is still what? alive! Unbelievable! Ramsey's with the Stone Gaze, trying to chase these heroes, but Mickey's got the oh, God, God Strike crushing into the Medusa. Nisha is still barely alive. The buyback from Kiyotaka is doing work, but Ramsey's gets the kill. And Kiyotaka into the DD no of Nisha too what is much. That? The attack slows have done it. It's an absolute bloodbath here as Roger <laughs> under the cover of the Shadow Amulet. Oh no, he's gonna have to reapply it eventually. And he knows Just... it's not a forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Patience God. pays off here for Mickey. Dude, this fan absolutely owning in this fight. Dude, it, the fact that Nisha was able to play that so well too, like just constantly using those overloads to slow the attack speed of that ember spear at the end of that fight there he has like no health left but just able to get like those extra auto attacks in that's so sick yeah and every little decision liquid made actually added up there the early doom onto roger just to prevent the static storm on re-engage the fact that boxy managed to stall out and save the doom boxy and insania just installing on that movement Give them, gives them so much time to respond. Gives enough time. <laughs> the Zataris falls to the <laughs> Fermenter. That tends to happen when it's only two heroes clearing out. It's good stuff. It happens. Love to see it. Love to and see it. Insania as well. Kind of too close to that Fermenter. Almost. Does get his free shard. So worthwhile in the end. Ah. <sighs> It's Inside gonna of feel pandas, so bad. It, it feels really bad. Like, they, they they don't have that impact just yet on the Dusa. Oh, they, they're just losing everyone across the map. Jesus. Oh my god. Is that literally two auto attacks? It was. It was actually just two auto attacks. He storm hammered and hit him for 1300 damage. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got that orb of destruction. Yeah. No? Just stacks up. That is... Amber, I mean, he's fairly durable with armor, but you've got the Daedalus on hand. There's not much to stop, Mika. Until we see maybe a couple of Heaven Halberds up, but they're still a ways off from anyone kind of getting that build up here on the side of Nine Pandas. And Liquid, they've course corrected quite well. And they, they aren't relenting in this aggression. They're keeping that pacing up. They've been ganking Ramsey so far more in this game as well. 076 on the Dusa. It's not a comfy game to try and catch up. He is number one in network for his team, but he's 3k behind from Nisha, Zai, and severely behind in comparison oh. to Mika. Zai? Does. He does disrupt her right at the end. He's like, that Shadow Amulet ain't gonna save you, buddy. <laughs> Nisha gets the kill. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, man, dude, this. Uh, one of the things that I think also really underrated from Oracle, this rain, dude, it does so much damage. They found Ramses here once again, but bottom lane, another kill potentially. Mickey does not get a lucky crit this time. So he will be able to survive on the Ember Spirit. Gets to back out. They get a little bit of movement out onto Ramses as well. Aren't able to pin down that Deusa for long enough. And Kiyotaka does dodge out that jump that Liquid wanted to pull. I mean, they force his They're... TP and his Remnant again, so he has to just walk back out. Yeah. Well, Roger, Roger will find Pugna, and Sania is here. Should be able to drop the False Promise, and he does. The question is, can he keep him alive? The rain, I mean, plus the healing is a lot, but a nice roar will catch, and Sania, both supports go down. Nice bait there from the side of Nine Pandas. That is some life going their way, but the can you like you gotta find the core kills, man. I feel like those are the big ones right now. I mean, they are the big ones, but you look at how much gold swings back from two supports. One point nine k gold. 
yeah, you could probably just sustain off killing off these two squishier supports. And that's where Nine Pandas shines, right? Like, that's that's what we were talking about with these two supports. If they're isolated, if their cores aren't around, you don't have that much play with these two heroes. You're susceptible to the output and control of Nine Pandas. Where Liquid has shined is when they've just been running with these two supports, plus Nisha, or literally plus just any core, has followed through from an initiation. And cleaning up from there. The moment they break in that formation up on Liquid. That's where oh, things can go south. That's an Orchid reveal there from Nisha. This ends up finding the Ember Spirit in the mid lane. Not close enough to that BKB and bottom lane. Mickey tries to go in here and find the Beastmaster. He's got the blink to just close the gap. Ooh, drops a sentry. It's not enough. Doesn't come out in time. He gets the TP on out. Roger, however, not going to be as lucky. He's got a harpoon, baby. I love this item. Oh, this thing boy. is so good. Good luck getting away so from the Sven twice. Yeah, it's so obnoxious to have to deal with that. And I feel like the visual indicator should be a bit bigger, but man, it gives you a lot of utility. It allows you to just jump and consistently get control for your team here as well. And I like what Liquid's doing. You know, after finding these pickoffs, they just take over the triangle. They get some vision going in that bot jungle. They're trying to choke out Ramses as best as they can. Mind you, Ramses is inching towards his Daedalus, so he has some output. He's not going for stats or the Manta, which, again, is a little bit interesting in comparison to what we saw from Timaru yesterday on his Dusa. So just going, kind of going all in on a bit more of a glass cannon coming out, which is, I guess, fair enough. It's... Again, once you once you get the Scotty timing, I feel that's where the Deuce starts to feel good. Yeah. Scotty, along with the Manta, the illusions are still amazing when they're out in the map because you don't really have instant illusion clear right now on the side of Liquid outside of just trying to burst them down. So they've got this opening. Roche is up there. Yeah. This makes a lot of sense. Just try and grab this first Roche. Very easy when you have an Oracle. Not too difficult. Um, so yeah, first Aegis should go on over to Nisha's Storm Spirit. So we'll just continue to play super aggressive on this hero as they immediately take the portal bottom. They did scan this just to see if anyone was here as they had a vision uh, that was giving some, you know, eyes on the Kiyotaka, but he gets out. Builds out in the nick of time. And for Nine Pandas, it's, it's all about whether or not this investment on Ramses has been worthwhile. Like, he does have that Daedalus up, but there's a lot of armor on the side of Liquid. You've got the Warcry, you've got the full AC up on Mika. He's going the Shard I, I'm not too. sure if he can even do that. Yeah, it's just too much. It doesn't feel like he can burst anyone. He's still chase down the arrow. Yeah, they're going to try. He pops the Roar. I, I feel like... I mean, that's a good juke, man. I think he's out. Yeah, he's going to be safe, but uh, speaking of not safe, though, and Taraz, as Mikke just makes quick work of him. Dude, he is so farmed. Just crushing these heroes. Wait a minute, they found oh, Ramses. Oh, no, the glimpse back. Does not want to chase for the moment as they buy back here on the Disruptor. Oracle is underneath this Tier 2 tower, just sustaining through it all. Has the false promise. He doesn't seem to really care. Godspank comes out. Ramses. Has to pop that stone gaze that will be enough to save the storm script, but in comes Mickey. The doom comes out. The glimpse will be able to send them away, but they've got the chase. And Nisha continues to jump for more up onto the high ground. They've got Roger. They've got Medusa. The silence on the Kiyotaka. He pops the BKB, but Mickey's just walking into the base. He does not want to stop, man. Able to just cancel out that blink, though. Will do wonders. Yeah, a little bit of madman just running up, trying to gun for that kill. They still find Ramses in the investment with the Daedalus. It's just not... It's not really that much damage. Dude, they're not Medusa. stopping. They found Miro. They immediately TP bottom. They saw him for a moment. Oh, There's going to be the good old Harpoon. As uh, Sven will just go back to farming, leave his rest of his team to clean up the kill. I am curious how Harpoon with Glimpse works, by the way. Because I don't think Harpoon is disjointable. Top lane Nisha yeah. finds a solo kill on the Kiyotaka without that BKB to protect him. Just pops to the soul burn. Yeah. And they, they clean up 4 for nil on side of Liquid on some really far flung fights. Might be able to clean up for more if Antares is not careful, but he does have the ward to protect. Still, the outer outer objectives now for 9 Pandas. Just set to melt. It's Liquid. They've got complete map control. 
the recovery process for Ramsey still he needs way more items like this this hero now whereas before old Dusa felt like you could just get away with a couple that oh means so boy. much more they gets right on top of Ramsey's and he just makes quick work one shots the disruptor okay Mickey so I used to tell this guy to chill a little bit but uh I don't think he's gonna um, nah, you don't chill on Sven. Nah, no, nah, this guy's angry. He just jumps in, gets the storm oh hammers done there. Ultra kills, he crushes Antares from a cleave as well. And that is it, the GG comes out. Man, I really wanted to see the harpoon glimpse interaction because I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> coded like Timber Chain. So if you harpoon someone mid glimpse, they teleport to you back across the map wherever you got. It would have been super oh, fun. Man. I want to see it. I want to see it. I feel like it's coded the same way as uh, Timber Chain.